Sloss and swap me camera. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Killing you, Austin. <laughs> All right. That man, that's cool. You got out the fish tank. I know. Stay. Greetings, War Room family. Welcome to another edition of A Few Good Minutes in the War Room. I'm one of your hosts, Devin McMillan, and I'm here with my co-host, Jimmy Williams. I keep computers putin. B. Austin. Even in you. And we the just want to that? talk to you today for a few minutes about this trend. I wouldn't say a new trend, but it's getting it's, new. it's getting a little out of hand at this point. The trend of court storming in college basketball. Now, the latest one to to reach the headlines was Thursday night, Virginia beats Duke, and their their students actually stormed the court. Coach K was a little upset about it because he he said one of his players got hurt in the melee. So now the big argument is about court safety. I just want to ask you guys about. Uh, Let's start there before we get into our personal feelings about court storming. What do you think about the safety implications involved in it, B. Austin? Um, I don't know. I, I, I definitely would prefer it not go on, but I don't. Also, I don't have a huge problem with it. I, I don't know where I land with court Jimmy, storming. What do you think about the safety? Of I mean, I think I think he has a legitimate uh, concern when you talk about having players on the court. And a bunch of drunken uh, teenagers, you know, or young adults, so to speak, running the floor. Nothing good can come of that. I mean, what's the point? It's, it's kind of Tres Vanny. It, go, it goes along with the, um, our, our whole society in general being Tres Vanny. People court storm for no reason. It used to be a thing where if you beat a great team, not saying Duke's not a great team, but I'm just saying in general, outside of this situation, I see court storming when you're on, like, D3 teams. Like, it's no – what's the point? Yeah, it's, it's, it's no longer – a distinguishing factor because it seems like every time, like I saw some a team, I forgot exactly what team it was, but I saw a team storm the court last season when they were the favorites to win the game. <laughs> that doesn't even make any sense to me. But I hear people complaining, you know, saying that Coach K is complaining. But really, Coach like, K, Coach K complaining because he got caught saying the f word. No, but at the same time, like who else would be at the forefront of this because? Whether you like it or not, whether you like Duke or not, none of us can disagree that any time anybody beats Duke, the court's getting stormed. So, you know, he's had this done against him more times than anybody, and I can see how it would get a little frustrating. Now let's get into our personal feelings a little bit because, like you guys were just saying, like I, I, I would rather schools and teams have a little more dignity, a little more confidence in their teams, you know, the act like you've been there before factor, the act like you expected to win factor. I think, especially, let's take it back to Duke. If you're going to storm the court every time you beat Duke, but at the same time you want to kind of hate on Duke and say that they're not as great as they, you know, per, you know, as they're purported to be, then why is it that you celebrate in this manner every time you beat Duke? So to me, it's like you're given the whole aura, the whole Duke, you know, legend, you're giving it fuel if you celebrate like it's 1999 every time you beat them in a game. Yeah, you are. It's right, kind of, it's kind of, it's kind of psychologically unintended Richard riding. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It definitely, it definitely is a little Richard riding. Um, and again, it goes to the fact that everybody is Tres Vanny now. You know what that means? A little <laughs> sensitivity with Tres Vanny. Anyway, but um, here's the thing though, Dev. Um, you guys went to college. You know, um, I went to college and. It gets to a point where when you're in college, people look for any reason to party and celebrate. We was already so partying in the things. stands because it wasn't like we were paying attention to Howard University <laughs> winning game. We never Listen, man, you slammed your school like you we never to... beat anybody. <laughs> no, but I, no, no, but what I'm, what I'm saying is this, though. You understand the psychology of a college, uh, you know, someone who's yeah. in college, a college teenager or a young adult. So yeah. they're looking for any reason to party. So this has become like a new thing. Like, you know, it just goes along with everything else, this whole – I get um, that. Harlem I get that. Shake thing and, and, and uh, the Gangnam Style. They, they look for a reason to do anything to draw attention to themselves. Plus, and Jimmy, the party. they can party Most on Most of them are probably TV drunk this, already. Yeah, plus you get the party on TV in this instance. Exactly. Okay. So, it's just, it's, it, that, I mean, that's, that's all part of it. So, I, I get how it goes on and why it goes on. Whether it's a safety issue, I think Coach K has a legitimate concern and it should be looked at because 
What happens if one of the better players in the nation gets trampled? I mean, you got guys court, storming the court now in wheelchairs. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> oh, the <laughs> Andy man that's is joke, man. That's not, yo, that's not a joke, B. That's not a joke. Yo, Dev, you seen that, right? Yeah, I saw it. I, I, I know exactly what you're talking okay, about. Okay, all right, crazy. yeah. So what I'm saying is, like, what happens if one of the better better players um gets injured when the, when the uh the court is stormed? Like, what, hey, what then? You know what I mean? His shin broke. He get his shin broke. Gets uh, injured, he something. should be able to kick that person in the face that injured him. No, nah, but seriously, I've I've got some rules for court storming. Uh, you know, shout out to uh, Midwest sports fans. Uh, minutes out. Yeah, the opposing team must be ranked in the top twenty-five. Your team cannot be ranked in the top twenty-five. Schools with NCAA championships are not permitted to storm the court. And if your team has reached the NCAA tournament three consecutive years, stay off the floor. My rules would be even more strict than that, but we can't really get into it right now because this is just a few good minutes in the war room. As usual, just make sure you you come to our page, warroomsportstv.com, check out our videos, click the like button on those videos, and make sure you comment because we will comment back. Uh, Check out all of our work at warroomsports.com. Check out our podcast 6 to 8 every Thursday at warroomsports.com. And as usual, everybody, Don't accept mediocrity and be steadfast in the war against ignorance. See you chumps on top. Wait, it's the war room with five nights at the round table. Five Philly guys diversified and educated.